Koti Koti pranams at the lotus feet of Pooja Shri Tarama and Brahmalin Swami Omkarananda Ji. A very good morning to all of you on this bright, cool morning when we are all set to celebrate our 73rd Republic Day. Republic Day is a national holiday in India when the country marks and celebrates the day and date on which the Constitution of India came into effect on 26 January 1950, replacing the Government of India Act as the governing document of India and then turning the na nation into a newly formed republic. The day also marks the transition of India from an autonomous commonwealth realm to a fully sovereign republic in the commonwealth of nations with the president of India as the nominal head of the Indian nation. The Delhi Republic Day Parade is the largest and the most important of parades marking the Republic Day celebrations in India. The parade takes place every year on the 26th of January at Rajpath, New Delhi. It is the main attraction of India's Republic Day celebrations. The parade marches from the Rashtrapati Bhavan along, with, along the Rajpath to India Gate and from there to Red Fort. It opens with the unfurling of the national flag by the President of India, who is also the Commander-in-Chief of the Indian Armed Forces. This is followed by the marching from several regiments of the Army, Navy and Air Force along with their bands. Tableaus from various states signifying their cultures are displayed. A beating retreat ceremony signifies the end of the parade. Ceremonious parades showcase India's defense cultural abilities and cultural and social heritage. Every year, the President distributes Padma Awards to the civilians of India, which is the second highest civilian award in India after Bharat Ratna. This year, the country will be celebrating its 73rd Republic Day under the broader ambit of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. Due to the spike in COVID-19 cases, there will be restrictions in the celebrations all over the country this year too. The future of a nation is bright only when it remains connected moment by moment with the pride of its past experiences and heritage. We all know that India has a rich historical consciousness and an immeasurable store of cultural heritage to feel proud of. To witness this historical, cultural, national consciousness, Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsa program dedicated to the 75th anniversary of independence by flagging off a Padayatra, that is Freedom March, from Sabarmati Ashram in Ahmedabad, Gujarat. Azadi's Amrit Mahotsa began 75 weeks before the 15th of August 2022 and will last through the 15th of August 2023. The Amrit Mahotsa of Azadi means the elixir of inspiration from the freedom fighters. The elixir of freedom means the elixir of new ideas, the elixir of new resolutions, the elixir of freedom is a festival, that is, the elixir of self-reliance. Azadika Amrit Mahotsa is dedicated to the people of India who have not only been instrumental in bringing India for evolutionary journey, but also hold within them the power and potential to enable the vision of Prime Minister Modi's to activate India 2.0, which is fueled by the spirit of Atmanirbhar Bharat. Republic Day is celebrated on 26 January all over India with gratification and joy. It's a day to honor the constitution of independent India. Various cultural programs are held in our school and children feel inspired and participate actively in the Republic Day ceremony give patriotic speeches on the importance of this day about our great sons who have fought to attain freedom and made India a sovereign state. The national flag is hoisted by the chairman of Srima group of institutions and the national anthem is sung. The national pledge is taken by one and all to mark the occasion. The chairman and the principal then address the students. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, 
the year 2021 and this year too, Republic Day celebrations have been celebrated virtually with the students choosing the virtual platform to be an integral part of the celebration through their active participation in various activities like tricolor rangoli, toran making, slogan writing, speeches, essays, etc. Their performance were not only focused on the historical significance of the Republic Day, but also on addressing contemporary issues and raising awareness about the fundamental rights and duties bestowed upon us by the Constitution. It is a good fortune of all of us that we are witnessing this historic period of independent India in which India is touching new heights of progress. Today's India has got its name written in the front line in the world. On this virtuous occasion, we pay our homage to Bapu and all the great personalities who led the country who sacrificed themselves for the freedom struggle of the country. We all should know the great history of the country by ensuring our participation in this festival of independence called Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsa. Lastly, I would like to say, let us salute today people who fought for the independence of the country and dedicate ourselves to the service of this great nation. We thank those people who are responsible for us breathing in independent India. It is time to remember that freedom is not to be taken lightly. The martyrs who sacrifice their lives to achieve it. For you, dear students, there is a bright future ahead. You have your talents and determination to showcase. Achieve the goals you have set for yourself with courage, strength and tenacity. You can strive to reach the stars. As we all know, the sky is the limit. Jai Hind!